My family formed the Democratic Party from Hermitage, Tennessee. The belief system was developed on a campaign by Andrew Jackson through the South, riding a horse with a musket and a militia. It wasn't your conventional army. It was an army of descendants of the Revolutionary War that was still pending against the English as he moistened the wick and put out the fire of the king. Deciding on his trail through the south as he settled the different campaigns set out to oppose his idealism and his democracy. When he finished, he rode with his men to the state of Florida on a legendary campaign that left him the representative of the South. The Democratic Party followed him to Tennessee as they witnessed him lose an election to be president, lose his spouse, who he had been with most of his life, and gather up enough courage to go to Washington with the Donaldsons at his side, Emily and Andrew Jackson Donaldson. And they began the campaign to unify the United States of America. They did a lot for the South. They did a lot for Tennessee. They did a lot for America. We don't ever want to lose sight of the unity in our country as we are referred to as the United States of America. And each state has an obligation in this upcoming election <clears throat> to remember what a Southern Democrat is, is a managed citizen of Southern values that believes in hospitality, but grows as mistakes are evident. When you vote, do not forget, this is a man who campaigned against Jeb Bush by belittling him, campaigned against John McCain, a soldier who was missing in action, who was tortured, who was uh, enough of a leader to turn down freedom and remain with his men. And he called him a loser, like it was a reality TV show. Any conservative that can vote for this man after his remarks about women, remarks about veterans, his total uh, disdain for the Constitution, his limitless bounds as he tried to take over the White House is not an American. It's a person who likes to sit in front of a TV and be entertained because that's what he is. He's a mechanism of entertainment that does not belong in the same seat as some of the great Democratic presidents like Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama. He is not on the same stage. He's a real estate investor whose father stopped funding him because of his antics when he was in college. He got out. He invested in the Mirage Gambling Casino and failed miserably as he tried to create a new Las Vegas in this wannabe mobster type role. Be careful who you vote for in this election because they're teaching your children that it's okay to burglarize and intimidate. 